Okay, so with flow rate and continuity, there really are um, two types of problems that you need to be able to solve. Okay, uh, the first one is is just the notion that if you multiply, say you've got this pipe here, if you multiply the area of this pipe by the velocity, um, which isn't very fast, right? But if we, if we knew what this cross-sectional area was, uh, we could figure out the flow rate, okay? And, and you need to be able to figure out just basic things, like if you had uh, you know, a certain area and a certain velocity, how long would it take to you know, fill a cup or fill a room or something like that, okay? Um, and then the second type of problem is uh, the exciting kind, and that is where you've got different areas, right? So I can make this, I can make this actually be less area. I can constrict this pipe. And if you do that, you will see that the velocity might be slower here, but where the constriction is, the velocity is faster. In fact, we could use this to figure out what the ratio of the areas is in this case. Um, this is a bit like putting your thumb over the end of a, uh, a hose or something like that and then spraying your uh, you know, a little sister or something like that, um, which you know, I, I can't relate to because I, I don't have a little sister. I'm the youngest. So. Uh, but anyway, th those are the two types of problems. So this, this type of problem is area 1 V1 equals area 2 V2. And all we're saying is that the flow rate here is equal to the flow rate there, okay? Um, anyway, that's what we're talking about, and uh, all right.